guys, your local dragon lady here, and how long has it been since we had a ban list? I don't know, but anyway, apparently Discord was saying there's a ban list, Duel Links. I actually, I mean, I still play Duel Links. I haven't paid as much attention to it as I have, like, with Master Duel, because there's a XE festival going on. I'm trying to build all the decks I want to play, but, but anyway, I still play Duel Links. I, I got, I'm, I'm... See, I'm a legend, so I must play it <laughs> to get back there. So, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in this band list. Now, for a wish list, um, maybe the DDDs, I think it's time. They, they've been around for a while, so I think it'd be nice for them to take a hit. I would say Harpies, but they've been nerfed twice. I'm not exactly sure what else they could do to Harpies and nerf them even further, so I, I don't think they would have a hit. I have been seeing Cyber Dragons a lot. Um, maybe it's a consequence of the Harpies being nerfed ner numerous times. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead. Limited 2. Okay, see, so nothing's banned, nothing is set to one. Two, Elemental Hero Brave Neos. Okay. Uh, interesting. I, I don't really see hero, uh, you know, heroes that often. This, this is probably why. Um, although, like, a full power is still a really good deck. It's really a really good deck. And three... Limit to three. Neo's Fusion. Now, technically, you can have three in a deck anyway, as I think you could. Although it's a very powerful card, we are easing its limitations as this card is now used less frequently. Okay, so you, it was limited. You can now have three. Okay, so... Um, I don't see heroes play that often. Maybe now it will be. Okay. <laughs> this is underwhelming uh, so far. Um, oh. Keeper of Dragon Magic. The card will be moved to limit three list, so it cannot be played alongside Neo's Fusion. Now, yeah, well, of course. I mean, if you're normal or special summon Keeper of Dragon Magic, you can discard a card at one polymerization normal. Magic card or fusion. So Neos fusion counts as that because it has, you know, the word fusion. It's a normal fusion magic card. So, okay, so I guess the reason why they have three there, so that way you can't have three copies of Neos fusion and three copies of, drag, of Keeper of Dragon Magic. You're going to have to put a combination of the two in there. So, uh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Today at work was really tiring. Okay, so will this make a big of an impact? I don't know. The, so far, I can only see more heroes being played. Even though here, despite heroes already being pretty good as it is, um, no longer in the list. Magician of Dark Illusion. Okay, no longer in the list. All right, I this this confused me. This really confused me when this happened. Uh, I didn't think Dark Magicians were that big of an issue. Like, not not so problematic that it had to be nerfed. I don't know. Like, may maybe there were people who thought Dark Magicians were too difficult of a deck to go against. Was it overrepresented? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I saw it really often. I saw it real often in rag duels when it was in its prime. But I didn't struggle <laughs> against it. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But okay, so Dark Magicians are probably back at full power now. Uh, Cybernetic Fusion. Wow, this card will be unlimited as its power level is acceptable in the current metagame. Oh! Well, here I was, I was, just, I was just thinking that, you know, I see Cyber Dragons a lot. Maybe they could use a little bit of a nerf, but instead it's the opposite direction. So, okay. Uh, 
You can have as many cybernetic fusion support as you want. A quick play magic card, fusion. It's a fusion card, so you can actually... You should be able to get that with Keeper of Dragon Magic, I'm assuming. Fusion. Cybernetic fusion. Okay. Uh, oh, we have more. Spe wow, Spell Book of Fate. The power level acceptable in the current metagame. All right. Sure. So spell spell books is getting a boost. Spellcasters and cyber. All right. Uh, spell. Oh, and spell book of the master. Okay. Fate, master. All right. And that is it. Oh wow. Okay. Um. So nothing took a hit at all. Instead, I guess they're balancing the strongest decks by unleashing previous strongest decks. <laughs> because I remember when spell books were as with that full power, dark magicians and uh, and cyber dragons, despite never ever completely gone away. If anything, I saw an increase in play, especially during the last Kaiba Cup. So. Now that full power with cybernetic fusion support, will it be like tier one again? I don't know. So, a little perplexed at first, but now, like, it kind of makes sense. Now that I see that a bunch is taken off the list entirely, okay, I can kind of get what's going on here. So, what do you all think? Like, do you think this makes sense? Like, do you agree with the top decks not taking a hit, uh, you know, as opposed to lifting up previous decks that were, you know, that were meta? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, as always, remember to be a good sport, to play the game, not the fame. And I want to take a nap. I, I need, I just need a nap. I need sleep. <laughs>